condition that our religion is the only religion, whatever that religion is. We are not, we are conditioned to our country is better than any other country. And if you say anything different, you must therefore leave it as opposed to just want better for it. You know, we are conditioned to not then say, oh, I could be wrong. That's why my favorite uh, quote, although I want to butcher it, is Malcolm, <laughs> is Malcolm X is like, um, don't be in such a hurry to condemn those who don't think like you do or act like you do now, because there once was a time you didn't think or act like you do today. Meaning you might be like, oh, my God, Arthur, this is it. I'm telling you the reality. This is the, this is fact. You know, like the kids say, facts, you know, that, yeah. right? This is it. And then 10 years back, I could look back and go, oh, dude, I was fucking stupid. Exactly. And people forget Malcolm X was Malcolm Little. Right. He did a lot of dirt. Yep. <laughs> and I get where he's going from that because I have some family members that found God, so to speak, and now they're super judgy. Not saying everybody that finds God is super judgy. I'm just talking about these members of my family sure. that found God. And now they, like you said, they forgot, hey, I used to do that same thing that person over there is doing. Why am I trying to condemn them Right. instead of trying to help them? It's this concept of feeling like they've solved it, right? So if you feel like, so if they listen, they're decent people, but they're judgy, right? You, you know, if you feel like, oh, wait a minute, I've got it. I've got to figure it out, bro. Like, I just had a revelation. I've now read this passage. Or I've had this moment where I've, I've suddenly walked in the light, or I feel like I've, you know, had my, um, I've had a born again moment, or whatever those cases are. I feel like I've got it figured out. I'm now walking in the light. I'm walking with God, or it doesn't have to be God, or whatever, the, whatever it is. It could be anything. I've got it figured out. I am happy. I'm now going to tell you how you can be happy too. Now, if I don't have the ability of communication, the gift of communication, I'm not going to plant seeds. I'm going to tell you. And if you don't follow the same path I did, you are therefore wrong. And I think that's the problem with a lot of, you know, the concept of missionary is you might be going, but you might be bringing the same ultimate center of the maze these motherfuckers actually might be already in the center of the maze quicker than you did, but you're going like, no, you got there through the wrong entrance. My entrance is the only entrance you should get to the center of the maze. Maybe they were already there. Maybe they're exactly. <laughs> maybe they're chilling with God already. Maybe they're worshiping the light, right? And if and if we're all worshiping, like I think Muhammad Ali kind of talks about this same kind of thing. It's like, and I always felt the same for all worshiping the same source. We just have taken different paths to kind of to kind of get there. And but for some people, that's heresy or that's, you know, oh, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, no, it has to be this way, because what that is, again, it comes back to this is their identity of how they got to be who they are. And finally, oh, my God, I know who I am now. And yep. if, I, <laughs> if I come along and I go like, yeah, but. That that tie is a little crooked. No, no, no. My tie is perfect. <laughs> you know, let me take. You know, that was all that is is you know, and and it's a security blanket. It's always come down to identity. It's just layers of security blanket. And if I come on, let me take this off. Then you're now becoming more and more cold and naked. No, fuck. I want even more covers on. Double <laughs> down, double down. Now I'm under a whole bunch of these freaking things. You know. That do you think, having said all that, that some people feel that they have to be a part of something greater than themselves, whether it's philosophy, politics, religion, or even fandom, since we are in the middle of comic books, right. some people feel that they have to be a part of something. Do you feel that some people have that urge to be a part of something, uh, or their identity is not complete because they don't know who they are? So they gravitate towards whatever shiny thing is shining the brightest and they go over there towards that light. I think I think part and parcel, maybe I think it comes down to just we are wanting to find our tribe no matter what. We're wanting to find community. You know, we're wanting to find acceptance within 
a, a family of sorts. It doesn't matter if it's, um, you know, your local football team or, you know, a gang to your prayer group to um, your knitting class to, you know, to your Dungeons and Dragons group. You know, uh, to you're going to the to the Raiders game every weekend, and you're hanging out. Doesn't matter if you're black, white, Mexican, young, old, rich, poor. We're all um, pouring our spirit towards one common field or goal, which is hoping the Raiders beat whoever that weekend. Right? You're going to a concert. So I think when we look at you know comics, or we look at the, the you know communities and so on. First off, I think we're moving into the loneliest age that we've ever been because our reliance on uh, digital um, community. And so the more we're reliant on it, the more it needs to feed us. It's like a demon that needs to get fed. No, I agree. I agree 100%. And, and so it doesn't, I don't knock folks that want to find like they're part of a group and like hey and you know and shit i mean me too you know it's not you know it, it's it's this fine balance between you know some days it's like just as a normal person i'm like some days i'm like i'm kind of a shit <laughs> and then other days i'm like i'm kind of shit i don't know if this is any good i don't know if i'm any good what the fuck am i even doing you know so i think that you know, just that feel of wanting to feel a part of something um, is just a very, it's just fundamental human nature. And the sad thing is, um, I think our reliance on not physical interaction and community and now, because, and it's very difficult, obviously COVID as well, and, and, and just the movement of social media, we've become even more i think um addicted addicted to social validation i remember watching something where this guy was talking about it kind of like an endorphin release like a drug you know yeah where I'm playing my my clothes <laughs> no worries where it's basically this guy was like you and uh, so basically, no, guy, if you if you have a if you have a um, a text a little indoor, like oh shit someone texted me it's like you know back in the days you know they have it in movies like you have no messages and you feel really deflated you have one message but it's you know it's your family member again checking on you like god dang it that's not who I was hoping, I was hoping it was going to be a business call or a girlfriend or something um, and he's like he likened it to slot machines where if you've got three lemons come up boom, 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 you win a bunch of stuff and endorphin release and excitement and joy so you've got to do it again and he's like now it's also the same you have a like you have a follower you have a comment and every time you see it it gives you a release of an endorphin so you then need it becomes an addiction that you need it more and more and then now you're reliant and then it's like oh no one's clicking like on my shit anymore it's no one crazy no one cares and so then you've had your endorphin let down and now you're in a funk and now you're in a mood and now you're depressed because you're not accepted that's why cyberbullying is so crazy and people that can be i think they mask a lot of it too with petty behavior like yeah. oh, i'm just being petty i'm just i'm just doing this you know because i mean me personally bro like Sometimes I take it kind of personally when people talk shit and I see it online. Mm -hmm. In person, I'm all good. I, I, because I feel like I can either like engage in reality and say, "Oh, why do you feel like that? Oh, why do you feel like my stuff is shit? Or why do you feel like my stuff is good here? Or you know, talk to me. You know, or or I can, you know, I can choose to walk away physically, or I can choose to slap someone. You know, I can, you know, you, you, <laughs> you've you've got these. You know, you've got these kind of um, earnest realities, um, and I have no I have no anxiety with that. But in online, it's like, oh, ooh, and it's in print, and that sucks. And now I'm down this rabbit hole of engaging in um, conversation with someone that 
maybe I just in reality was like I would be like who the who the fuck is this? Exactly. And some people do it just to get a reaction out of certain people yeah. because they're like, oh, they paid attention to me. Oh, I feel good. It's so weird how some people, like you said, they want that attention, good or bad, yeah. just to feel good about themselves, even if it's just for five seconds. Yeah. It, it, and, and, and the trouble is, bro, too, is like you just don't know what people are going through. No. You don't. If someone says something crappy about, let's say, Ruin Christmas or Naomi or something like that, or, or me personally online, and you know, it could catch me on a day I'm having a really bad day just inherently. And it's like, oh my, it really, whoa, don't even know what I've been through. No one, you know, like, because you don't have, you don't like, you don't advertise on social me media, or I don't at least, like, you generally like, oh, my day's X, Y, and Z um you know to keep because i also have to remain professional with you know my business even if i'm being you know crazy with my ruining christmas shit you know it's still like this is this is it yeah um but you know and i also try and take it to a little bit with a pinch of salt too when someone might be on the attack because i just it comes back to like well you're just maybe you're going through some shit and you're just an insecure an insecure fuck that needs to have a vent and you're using me as your venting tool like dude like there is shit literally there are people that i've seen talk lies about me and the company that is so bizarre oh wow yeah so bizarre like there's some lies that you know our hbo deal never happened that i made it all up and I'm like, to, to sell extra comic books. <laughs> it's like so incredulous. It's so fucking crazy. There are other, other shit that I hear that I want to get into, but that you go, wow, you can literally start a lie or a rumor about someone and affect their career and their livelihood and it's like, I know some of these people too. And I'm like, um, you know, I see people also that rip me off like left, right and center, you know, and get a lot of shine. Like, you're like, oh, okay, cool. It, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it is. It, sometimes that shit can be like disheartening, but I'm also, I have to try and remain very resolute in, well, my shit is my shit.